Hey Tipsy friends, welcome to our channel. I'm Nikki, your favorite little sister from Sift and Read. Um, so in, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> welcome to our channel and welcome back. If you are new and welcome back if you're returning. Um, in true little sister fashion, I'm gonna steal my sister's idea. So her last video, she showed some of the things she got from our 25 days of books exchange. Um, and so I'm gonna do that too because she did it and I wanna do it. Uh, <laughs> I will link her video in the cards and also like the other videos pertaining to this particular event. It was technically an advent calendar. I think that's how you say it. Um, but I don't celebrate Christmas, so I'm thinking about it as a 25 days book exchange. And I will link all those videos in the cards. And I bet you anything, Sarita's gonna be under this video. You didn't link the videos in the cards for me. I didn't remember to do that. <laughs> well, I'm probably gonna have to go back and do that. Uh, but let's get started. I got a lot of good stuff. Um, my person was the evil one, AKA Isita, AKA Dear Be Love Me. I will li link her Instagram down below. Um, and what was so great, like some people who had to exchange books, it was their first time meeting, or, you know, they knew each other a little well, or they know each other really well. Like Sarita and Courtney, they're kind of like very, very similar creatures, especially in their reading taste. So, they were truly a match made in heaven. Like they went above and beyond for each other and they both got each other really good books. The evil one and I, sometimes our tastes align. So, but she also knows me pretty well. So she got me really personalized things that were just, not things that I asked for or would have asked for, but things that I loved and didn't realize I needed. So I truly, truly appreciate her and I thank her and let's get started. So one of the first things she got me that was not on my list, never would have been put on my list. I never even thought that I would want, but I actually just thoroughly enjoy are these fidget spinners. Um, I don't use this one as much because like, just look at it. It's it's so pretty. I don't, I don't wanna mess it up. But this one, I play with a lot. And I gotta keep hiding it from my nephew because if he catches wind of it, Zion, yeah, he's gonna take it. But this one reminds me of, um, what's that thing from Harry Potter? Stitch, the snitch, whatever that thing from Harry Potter that they catch during the Quidditch game. That's what this reminds me of. And it's just, it's so pretty. I, I love it. Um, but this is one of the things that she got me that I never would have thought that I needed. I don't know what she's trying to say by getting these for me, but I love them and I do use them. Not the, again, not the gold one, cause I just feel like that's the showpiece. I'll probably put it like on my bookshelves when I actually set it up, but I just, I love it. Um, I'm trying to keep all my thoughts in order. Sarita's not here to keep me like laser focused and control everything. So bear with me y'all. She also got me these stickers. When I first opened them, I never actually read them. We were doing it together and we didn't want the video to be like a thousand hours. So I just kind of showed them, but let's see. There's cats. Oh, there's a lot of different things. So this one's a cat and it says, this page is a protection to protect your beloved stickers from damage. Stickers can change lives, add color to your life. That is so true. But look, it's baby Groot and Spider-Man. You guys, so this is what I mean about, <laughs> these stickers are so cute, about your person like knowing you. I love anime, superheroes, comic books, like total nerd. Um, <laughs> this is Oliver as the dark angel, what was his name? Um, from Arrow. Malcolm um, Merlin, the Black Archer. I can't remember what he was called, but this is Oliver as him. Oh, this is, these stickers are so nice. Look, I gotta hide the um, Captain America. I'm probably gonna give the Captain Americas to Sharita. For those of you who don't know, Cap is like one of her fave, not one, he is her favorite Marvel character. Uh, well, Avenger character. I think Storm's her actual favorite Marvel character, but. These are so nice and there's so many. I didn't even realize how many stickers there were. Look, oh, I just love these. Um, oh my goodness. 
Falcon, Thor. Like there's so many. Okay, okay, I'm gonna move on or I will be here all day. I love stickers. Um, oh, and look at this cute little gap. I'm gonna have to get that to Serena. That's too cute. Um, she also got me these journals. Um, so it's kind of funny because I recently decided to take my life to digital um, journals and things like that. So, and this one's my favorite because it's beautiful and lavender, but I'm going to treasure and love these always. Um, but I'm trying to do more digital and save trees, which is probably like books, but you know, we, we do what we can. Um, she also got me these bookmarks. I love bookmarks, you guys. Um, and they come with these cute charms. I have to like put them together. I haven't had a chance to do that, but I'll probably do that after this video. Never stop looking up. That's cute. Oh, there's two of them. So I'll give Sarita one of each because there's two. Stay wild, moon child. Dreams come true. Shine like the stars. The future is bright. How cute. Belle the cat. These are really nice. I love bookmarks. I love a lot of things. I'm a happy person. <laughs> this is another bookmark that she got me that just, <sighs> look how beautiful. I don't want to take it out of the um, thing, but it come in a nice box, so I guess I could just do that, but look how pretty. I just, I love it. It's gorgeous. I also got this beautiful coloring book. I love to color. Um, I haven't been doing it as much in like recent times. It's just, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. It's the chocolate girls for me. But I'm going to get back into it and to pair with my coloring book, she got me the skin tone color pencils. Um, I actually, again, love coloring. So I have like this massive um, set of color pencils, but I don't have any color pencils designated just for skin tone. So I'm really looking forward to using this. I think Sarita wants to plan a, um, kind of like a sip and paint, but like a coloring session. So hopefully we do that soon. Um, she also got me this insulated mug and it says yes I really do need all these books and I really do and it's insulting when people ask like right now I have um all my books like stacked up in preparation for doing my book um shelves and my mom walked in and was like that's a lot of books and I'm like mind your business you know because I need and I love all of them um she also got me this beautiful nightgown it says I'm booked tonight. I love nightgowns. Um, if I don't have to sleep in pants, it's a good day for me. So this was right up my alley. Um, another thing that I don't know how she knew, but I'm mad. She also got me this really nice, really soft blanket. It goes this way. You guys. This blanket is so soft and cozy. Um, it's my new reading blanket. I have a quarter and my couch where I love to read. And it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold. I need a blanket with me. Um, even if it's just for the aesthetic because I tend to run really hot and I don't like to be hot. But I've been using this blanket since I opened it. Excuse me, since I opened it because it's winter and it's cold and Vegas right now so it's like the perfect gift and it has a lot of my favorite colors and I gotta wash my niece spot well ugh, my niece around it because baby girl loves soft things um she also got me this book cozy just tell me to sh I'm not gonna say that oh, the things I'm trying to do better with my cursing but this is for to keep um a book safe that I'm taking with me and it has like two pockets so I can put my book in here 
And then here I would probably put Cookie, which is the name of my Kindle. Her name's Cookie because she's sweet and I love her. Um, she got me these socks. There was another and it's purple, so she knows. Um, she also got me a pack of socks, but something else that I really love is socks and I've already used them. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> um, she also got me these metallic highlighters. They're silver, shiny silver, mystic gold, champagne peach, and pearl rose. I used to annotate when I was younger, but I hadn't, and like for enjoyment. And then I had went to college and just stopped reading. And then I was like annotating for a grade and it just lost its appeal. But recently, Sarita has been annotating in the last few months and watching her is like oh my gosh i think i want to annotate again um she's so passionate about it and it's just she does it in her own special sarita like way and it just it fascinates me and it's really making me miss it so um i want to get back to annotating i say all that to say <laughs> and i'm just so proud of her honestly because what you guys don't know is these pins it has a nice grip um Sarita is like insane, <laughs> but she's over an over analyzer. And so you guys don't realize, but it took her such a long time to get to the point of feeling comfortable enough to annotate. And so I'm just so proud of her and I'm so inspired by her that she took the step to do something that scares her. So it's just, it's really made me want to get back into annotating. Um, so shout out to my sister being a boss. She also got me this apron. Um, it says, I'm a smart, strong, sensual woman, Tina from Bob's Burgers. I love to cook. Uh, I don't know how good I'm at it, but I love to cook. And so this is going to get a lot of use. One of the things that almost made me want to cry and emotional was this. I just was always getting on me about wearing compression socks and things because for those of you who don't know, I was born with a club foot. And if I'm on that sucker for more than an hour, <laughs> sometimes 15 minutes, my foot will swell up. And so she's always like, wear compression socks, wear compression socks. I don't want to do that and I hate compression socks. They squeeze your feet really hard. <laughs> so, of course, she got me an air compression leg massager for my foot and my ankle. Um, it's actually pretty dang good, so I thank her. But this is another one of those gifts that I never would have thought to ask for or even to get for myself. Um, I don't know why. I try not to make a fuss about my foot just because it brings enough attention all on its own. Like, I don't, I don't need to bring attention to it. So for her to think of me in that way, just from a simple like, oh, my foot's hurting, club foot, and she's like, oh, okay. And besides the little randoms, break compression socks, it's never been like a deep conversation we ever had. So for her to take the time and the opportunity to give me something so massive and so sweet and so compassionate was really like, unexpected because she's evil but very very much appreciated um so thank you Isita. now to the books we have vanessa jared's gets um oh, sorry vanessa jared's got a man a novel by Lequet. um i've never read anything by her the cover is gorgeous. It's giving rom-com. It's giving a good time and I'm so excited to read it. Let's see what it's about. A sexy, fun, romantic drama. Not rom-com. Interesting. About a woman getting her groove back and a second chance at love. Okay, second chance romances are something that I just recently discovered like last year that I actually really, really love. I romance girly so I love all love but there's something about that coming back around and it being for real that just hits different 
Vanessa has decided to pull herself out of her post 40, post divorce slump by forming a savvy, sexy, and single club with her two best friends and starting the Do Me portion of their lives. I love that. But on the two year anniversary of the club, a very sexy sheriff shows up on Vanessa's doorstep, wanting her to help to keep his little sister from marrying Vanessa's no good ex. Ooh, so this is not like a second chance for them, just second chance at love. Okay, okay. Vanessa wants nothing to do with the man. Until she spots a photo of her ex's new fiance wearing her grandmother's ring. <gasps> oh, the audacity, which he clearly stolen from her, clearly. <laughs> now Vanessa is ready to take this trifling, fill in the blank, down. What she does not expect is to fall in love along the way. Oh, I love that. This is my first time reading the description. Is that the synopsis I mean? Is that crazy? The last time we were in such a rush that I couldn't take the time to truly appreciate some of the stories. And I wanted to keep everything together, even though I'm sure I miss things because that's just how I roll. I am not organized and like have my life together like Sarita does, but so I wanted to make my life easier. So I had kept them together. So now we're all getting to discover the books together. A Bride for the Prince, The Alien Prince. This one was actually on my list of a book I wanted to read. I've never read um, Eva O'Hare, but I love alien romances. Um, and if it's a black girl, um, I'm interested. So let's see what The Bride of Rakish book one is about Mars needs black women that's what it was the the synopsis I actually read the synopsis of this one it's actually pretty <laughs> crazy well not Mars exactly but a planet called Rakishish Rakishish I'm gonna have to figure out how to say that all the female creatures on Rakishish died during the a plague and now the Rakishish males have no mates if they don't find mates soon their species will die finding mates won't be easy only black females from earth will do Come find me, my friends. I'm here. I would love to live in space. Then we have this beautiful number. Isn't she gorgeous? <sighs> Hold You Down by Tracy Brown. The number one rule, family is everything, period. I already get it because I, I don't play about my family. Uh, we're crazy close, okay? New York City, late 80s to early 90s. Okay, already starting off great because that was like the golden age of time. Sarita was born, I was born, my brothers, like it was the golden age. Today's kids could never. It has always been just Mercy and Lennox Howard. Growing up on the main, mean streets of Harlem with an absentee mother meant that they had to have each other's backs. Now young, smart mothers, they are determined to survive in New York City while raising their two sons, Devin and Joda who have bright futures ahead of them. Mercy is the quiet, straight-laced hospital administrator struggling to make ends meet. It's gonna be me and my sister in this book, I can already tell. I'm the quiet, straight-laced one, if you couldn't tell. At night, on, at night and on weekends, she pours her heart into her cooking and her dream of owning her own restaurant. Lennox is the diva, the wild child, looking for excitement and her big come up in life and love. Their boys have been raised more like brothers than cousins, forging a bond that is unbreakable. When Lennox heads down a path that she believes will bring success and power, it changes the entire course of her and her family's lives forever. As a result of their mother's choices, cousin Dion and Jonah soon find themselves in uncharted territories. Oh my goodness, this sounds so good. I hope Lennox is okay. Single Black Female Blew Me Away, Nick Cannon. I dare you to read Tracy Brown's novel, Single Black Female. She will snatch you out of your life and pull you into the drama-filled world of multifaceted and interthralling women facing off with thought-provoking dilemmas that will hold you captive from beginning to end. Loved this book. Oh my goodness, I can't. This is another um, new to me author, by the way. I think all the books are new to me authors which I love, I love discovering a new author. This sounds really good. This might be my um, physical book read of February. Um, something else your girls loves is monster romances. 
We got Legends and Lattes by Travis Blardry. Um, I can barely read y'all, so just bear with me. I'm sorry. I'm horrible with words in general. So, after a lifetime of bounties and bloodshed, Viv has is hanging up her sword for the last time. The battle weary orc aims to start fresh, opening the first ever coffee shop in the city of Thome. But rivals, old and new, stand in the way of success, not to mention the fact that no one has the faintest idea what coffee actually is. If Viv wants to put the blade behind her and make her plans a reality, she won't be able to go at it alone. But the true reward of the uncharted path are the travelers you meet along the way. That is so true. And whether drawn together by ancient magic, a flaky pastry, or a freshly brewed cup, they may become partners, families, and something deeper than she ever could have dreamed. Take a break from the epic battles and saving the world. This is my new comfort read. Oh, I love a good comfort read. Uniquely beautiful and wonderfully wholesome. A big hearted story about the small things in life and a lovely written ode to the genre. A must read for every D&D &D player who has ever wondered what happens after, Hefley Ever After. Oh, that sounds cute too. I'm not a D&D &D player, um, but that sounds really cute and i don't know if these two are the love interests but it's giving i'm here for it another new to me author okay so these next books are really fun because they're not um like traditional reads they're not novels i guess we have the bob's burger burger book so I really enjoy Boss Burgers if you guys couldn't tell. Um, but you know like his burgers from the show and how he gives them all like unique and clever names? We have the burger recipes. Um, the cauliflowers coming from inside the house burger. <laughs> I gotta make that recipe. That she's a vegetarian you guys. Um, so it's gonna be fun to redo these and make them vegetarian because I, I don't eat beef or um, pork. So I cannot wait to dive into these books. When I do a recipe, I will like record myself and Sarita and we could, and the kids um, make it a family event and we could all like rate the burgers. I'm really, really excited for this. Next, we have Fancy As F Cocktails. So it's another beautiful one. Um, sip Then Read Girly but i've never been to bartending school and as a contrary to what people may think i'm not a huge drinker i like sweet fruity um drinks but i'm looking so i'm looking forward to getting to this one to learn some new drinks some new recipes um and to step out of my comfort zone i really want to start making drink videos this year and um get be comfortable doing it I want to love the content that I cre that we create. And I think this is the first step to getting there and being more confident and even pushing the mold and creating my own cocktails. Um, so I'm excited for that. I will also record when I make a recipe from this book. Okay, so these next two books, I'm actually extremely excited about because they're just gorgeous. Um, they're, she even told me like after fact that they're just like aesthetic pieces and how could they not be? Glory, magical visions of black beauty, period. So in my head, like, wait until you guys see these pictures. Like, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So in my head, these are going to um gorgeous like face this way because come on like look at that cover it's not going this way no 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 you're gonna see it um i always wondered why people did that on their bookshelves and i get it now because you're gonna see this so this one is glory and this one is crowned Oh, I'm sorry. Glory is by Karan and Regis Rhythmcourt. 
I'm sorry if I butchered that. Um, and this one is by the same authors or il nar not narratives, <laughs> photographers, illustrators. I'm gonna have to read more to learn more about this, but it's a two part person. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sorry, I know the lights are probably jacking up the glossy pages, but it's, just, it's beautiful. Like we as a people are just fine as hell and dope as all get out. And this shows that. These are gorgeous. Representation is so, so important. And so I'm loving that these young kings and queens are being seen and put out there in a way that's not the usual. Like these books aren't beautiful and I'm so grateful and thankful to Isata for Isata see look I'm feeling so grateful I'm using her name the evil one for all my beautiful things again I'm I had more things but I use some of the stuff okay I, I couldn't keep waiting <laughs> but I thank her I actually have two more books they are both from just uh, Jessa Hasting. Um, these came from Madam Editor Annalisa, who was who lives in the UK. She sent us a package just because, which was so very sweet. And I think technically one book's supposed to be for Serena, the next one's supposed to be for me, but I'm keeping them both. So first we have Magnolia Parks. I wonder if this is the Magnolia Parks everyone talks about. I'm gonna have to look into that. Let's see. How many loves do you get in a lifetime? Hopefully a lot. Magnolia Parks is a beautiful, affluent, self-involved, and mildly neurotic London socialite. BJ Battleline is Britain's most photog photographed bad boy who broke her heart, but these two are meant to be and everyone knows it. Magnolia and BJ are written in the stars, just suspended in a strange kind of love that looks like hurting each other a lot of times. She dates other people to keep him at bay. He sleeps with other girls to get back at her for it. Okay. Only now their dysfunction is catching up with them. It's very dysfunctional. As the cracks start to show and secrets begin to surface, Magnolia and BJ are finally forced to face the formidable question they've been avoiding all their lives. How many loves do you really get in a lifetime? Interesting. I think this is the one everyone talks about. Um, well, I've only heard people on YouTube talk about it, but you know. Okay, and then we have Daily Heights. No guns at the dinner table. Oh, this one, this sounds like me. Um, all Daisy Heights has ever wanted is a normal life, but as the little sister of London's most notorious gang lord, her life is complicated. And things don't become any easier when she falls hard for the beautiful and emotionally unavailable Christian Hems, who also happens to be of the new, of the few men in London who doesn't answer to her brother, Julian. Hmm. Christian is hopelessly in love with his best friend's girlfriend, Manolia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. But he's happy enough to use Daisy to, to disguise his true affections until she starts to infiltrate those two. As their romance blossoms into something neither were anticipating, Daisy, Christian, and Julian must come to terms with the fact that in this life, everything comes at a price. Whoa. Thank you, Annalisa. Like, I'm excited to read these. These are definitely both for me because it wouldn't make sense to give one to three and keep the other. So I'm just gonna keep them both. Um, thank you guys. Sorry, I know that was crazy, crazy and hectic. Um, I'm not really good with organizing my thoughts like Sarita is. So I appreciate you guys for bearing with me. Um, let me know, have you guys read any of these stories? Do you, are you excited? Do you want me to do book reviews on them? Um, let me know what y'all think about this one because I I need to know if I need to get into this. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding.
<laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye.